I was living in Ethiopia. A comfortable life. But my nation was disintegrating before my eyes. And when that is happening? You don't just sit and watch. I thought that I must try to do something, even though I was putting my life in danger. I had a lot of friends who also felt the same. None of them are alive now. The government tried to imprison me. And so I disappeared and crossed over into Sudan. I left my wife and five-year-old son. It was so difficult, but I had to save my life. For two years, I stayed in a refugee camp in Sudan. This was the harshest time I spent in my life. That's where I saw the animal nature of human beings. I became subhuman. A nobody. But I kept the hope alive that one day I would breathe the air of freedom. After many years, I found a smuggler. He said he would take me to England. When I was 10 years old, my English teacher told us to write a letter. So I wrote to the British Embassy. Asking them to send us some books. They sent me a bundle of books. And a picture of the English countryside. I thought it must be a beautiful place. I arrive at Heathrow Terminal 3. February, a very windy day. At first, things seemed all right. I applied for asylum and waited. Then I got the letter that said I was refused asylum. They said, Ethiopia has a democratic representative government. I was shocked. They were so misinformed, so incompetent and unprofessional. I appealed and they refused me again. That was a very low point. Since then, I've been waiting many years for some more news about my status. I lived in suspense. So I could easily be deported. I'm not allowed to work. I tried to volunteer with a charity, but they wanted to see my papers. Sometimes people from our community give me a painting or a decorating job. I get 70 pounds or so. And I manage to pay the rent. The psychological impact is very deep. And complex. Whenever I get on the underground or jump on the bus, I feel like the visa of illegality is stamped on my back. I love the British Museum. As it's free, I go there three times a week. Ask me about the Vikings, or the Romans, or the Aztecs. I have been to all the museums, and I read a lot, actually. I love English literature. Charles Dickens, Great Expectations, A Tale of Two Cities. Brilliant. Genius. I managed to save my life. That's the greatest achievement. I don't believe it is the wish of the British people to torment and traumatise people like me. Someone who has been part of your society for so many years. It is fair. What I was expecting by reporting every month, by obeying the law, was that one day... They would give me legal status. At least let me see my wife and son again. And go to work without fear and be a productive citizen. It's common sense. Common sense. The history of the world is the history of migration.